And my name is Peter Lo Chakapong, uh, the member of Parliament for Sigor constituency in the county of West Pokot. Uh, we are here in solidarity with our three colleagues who are summoned by DCI to appear here. And uh, today they honored the summons, uh, the Honorable uh, Moroto, the MP for Kopenguria, the Honorable David Kosing, the MP for Pokot South, and the Honorable Titus Lote, the member for Kacheliba. So together with uh, our women rep and our senator, we joined our colleagues here just to stand in solidarity with them to see what is it that have, they have been summoned to come and say here or to do. So what we have realized is that I think uh, from all that they have been told to talk about, I think government is relying on rumors, government is relying on social media and things that have no basis. So we want to advise government that they must rethink their strategy of looking for peace in the North Rift and generally in Kenya. Because this is the way we are going to manage affairs of insecurity and think that we are going to succeed. We will not by intimidating leaders, by summoning them here. You know, today we also met our colleagues from Turkana. The government of uh, Turkana was here, uh, the senator was here, the member for Turkana South was here. We all met here just to record statements about the same thing. And we think that uh, I think somebody is not doing his work as is expected. So I want to call upon those who have been entrusted to deal with insecurity and matter security in this country. They must rethink. They must rethink. Because otherwise, if we move like this, we are just going to intimidate their leaders and we are not going to achieve anything. We have on many fora given our suggestion, our view, our strategy on what we think needs to be done. But nobody is taking them. So instead, they are even telling us that matter security is not for elected leaders. Matter security is not for politicians. How? Yet when we speak on behalf of our people because we have been mandated by the people through the vote, we have been elected to speak on behalf of our people, now they summon us here. So what do they want us to do? To keep quiet? When atrocities are made on our people, we cannot. We must say, and we are speaking on their behalf. So I want to uh, tell the, 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 the CS interior that I think this is not the first time we are talking to you. And the earlier you realize that uh, matters peace, needs everybody, they're better for you. But uh, if you want to still lock out some people that they have no idea, they have nothing to say, I think we are not going to achieve much. So we want to uh, ask you to rethink, re-strategize, let everybody be on board. That way, I think we will, we will move forward well. Uh, mama bai tuliona leo, ni kwamba hawa ambao wenzetu wameitua. Sisi wengine tulikuwa hapa miyesi tatu iliopita, tulikuwa hapa oktober na senata wetu na mwishima kamke na wengine. Na ambaka leo, ili ambaye tulisema na tujaone kitu ambaye mefajika. Mwishima kindiki ya mekuja West Pocot County, ya mekuja konstituensi yangu, haka sema mashule ya lazima ya tafuguliwa tamii. Na ambaka leo, hata ile kasi ambaye ilifajika, hata nilijusi nilisema hata hata rudi pale angalia. Nothing has happened. Lakini kwa media kila mali ya mesema, oh, sasa ni metoo instructions, ni mefanya order, na sasa mashule itafuguliwa, nitaleta chakula, nitaleta askari, lakini nothing is happening. Sasa inaishia kwa masumuso peke yake hapo. So nataka ni muambie, wewe kuja West Pocot, kutana na pamoja na sisi, tuketi pamoja, na tumekuja ofisi yako karibu mara moja, na tuka kueleza. Lakini yale ambayo tumekueleza ujitekeleza. So tuandaka kusema kwa mba, tebe, te, kwa hii safari, tembea na watu. Ukienda peke yako, wewe, awezi wa unu, tembea na watu. Wewe ulikuwa pale senate, wewe ulikuwa mbunge, kama sisi. Sijuu sasa nini megauka sahi, sijuu nini mebadilika, Na sisi, hata wajumbe wale wenye wako bungi, wenye wako senet, wako na akili na wanasa kukusaidia ufaulu katika ikasi ya bau nipewa. Lakini ungetaku tembea peke yako mamu ni ngumi. So, nataka nisebe ya kwamba, sisi tashirikiana na serikali, lakini pia, tunataka serikali itusikize. Serikali hii ni yetu, na tuliamini wakati mwishimu wa ruto alisema kwamba hii mamu itaisha, itaisha. Lakini itaisha kama sisi tutasugumza, sisi na watrukana tusugumze, sisi na serikali pia tutoe maudi yetu, na tuonge pa moja. That way it will be good. Mina nataka niambi, eh, Watu wetu wa West Pocot County. Sisi kama viongozi wenu tunatafuta amani. Lakini tunatafuta amani kwa njia ya heshima na kila mtu na wale wenzetu pia wakuwe tayari kutembea barabara ya amani kama vile sisi tumeamua. Kwa sababu hata leo wakati tumekuwa pale tukingoja mtu kila mmoja uh, record statement tumeongea tumesema hata hii maneno tukakuwa tumemalizia uh, nyumbani. Kwa nini tunakuja hapa? Kama ya Turkana iko hapa siju uh, jirani yangu ya Turkana South hapo. Sisi tumekuwa tumeongea hii maneno tumalize kama ni maneno ambayo inatuhusu. So tuwantaka kusema kwamba tuko na nia nzuri ya kuhakisha kwamba watu wetu wapate amani 
ili wafanye biashara zao na maendeleo ikuje katika sehemu ile. So tunataka kusema kwamba hii ambayo wakati wameitwa tena ni kusumbua tu viongozi bure na hii watu wanajua kitu gani nitakana wafanye ili kwamba sehemu ile iweze kunyamaza. The first they must address they must address the issue of marginalization katika area area ile. Tiati na West Pokot must be addressed. Wage address hiyo hivi tutapunguka kwa kiwango kubwa. Asante. Mimi naitwa Rael Kasiwai. Mama Count West Pokot. Leo nimeandamana na wenzangu ambao waliitwa hapa DCI to record statements kama vile mmesikia tume Mheshimiwa Lote, Mheshimiwa Kosing, Mheshimiwa Moroto wameitwa hapa leo na kama kiongozi kutoka Pokot mimi pia sijafurahishwa kwa yale serikali hii inafanya aswa uh, kazi ambaye Mheshimiwa Kindiki anafanya. Tunasema Kindiki unatupotezea wakati sisi tuko na kazi ya kufanya tulichaguliwa tusanye wa Pokot kazi sio kuzunguka hapa hapa na kuru kila wakati tunasema kuja ground na wakati ulikuja west pokot ulikwambia what you should do as a cs uh, interior kwamba utuite sisi wote tukae chini kiongozi wa watukana wa marakwet na wale wengine wote ili tuweze kumaliza hii mambo ya bandit kwa hiyo mwenyewe umeamua kutumia very primitive ways of dealing with security we are saying it is not going to bear any fruits come down sit with us and we will give you the solutions kwa hivyo nasema pole kindiki wewe umeshinda na kazi enda nyumbani mimi ni Julius Murgor senator wa West Pokot na leo nimekuja hapa ku uh, saidia uh, solidarity kwa wenzangu mheshimiwa uh, Moroto Mheshimiwa Lote, Mheshimiwa Kosing ambao umeitwa na DCI waje wa record statement. Mimi nilisha record uh, statements mara mbili uh, mwaka uliopita na kwa hivyo si kitu geni kwangu. Uh, kitu tu ambacho napenda kumwambia Kindiki hata pamoja na rais. Mimi kama Murgo niko disappointed kabisa kwa hii vile serikali hii ina handle mambo ya insecurity kwa sababu tuliambiwa maneno mengi ambayo yangetekelezwa yangelishasaidia tuliambiwa mambo ya maji jeshi iko tayari on the ground hakuna maji wanachimba hakuna chochote wanafanya ila sasa ku conflict na wananchi tarehe sita mwezi wa pili KDF walipiga risasi na kutupa bomu mimi mwenyewe nikisikia kwa masikio yangu na kuona kwa sababu nilikuwa katika area ya Sarmach na eh, sasa ni raia pamoja na KDF sio tena turukana na mpokoto na hii ni very disappointing kwa sababu wakati eh, ilisemekana KDF wanaenda sehemu hiyo mimi nikafikiri itakuwa sasa suluhisho ya kuweza kudumu kwa uh, hawa KDF kuzuia uh, raids uh, wa Pogoto wasiende wa Turkana wasiende wa Marakwet wasiende na hao wote ambao wana nyanganyana uh, wanyama lakini sasa Maajabu ni kwamba KDF sasa wana conflict na wananchi na unashangaa sasa kazi yao ni nini katika sehemu ambayo wamepelekwa. Kwa hivyo mimi na napenda na, na kumwambia ningependa kumwambia Kindiki kama hawa askari hawana kazi please peleka pali pengine pali watafanya kazi kuzuia labda KD, uh, I mean Al Shabab ama wale ambao wanatuvamia kutoka nchi zingine kwa sababu uh, labda idleness katika sehemu hiyo waliko ndio imeleta sasa hawa kuwa na conflict na wananchi pili bwana kindiki wewe umetuahidi ya kwamba sehemu ya chesegon ambayo imekuwa affected na mambo ya insecurity mashule yatafunguliwa wewe utaleta vyakula wewe utaleta security tunashukuru umelete 
eh, NPR ngawa sisi bado tunasema ni wachache lakini asante kwa kuleta hao wachache ambao wamesaidia kiasi sasa tunaomba ya kwamba mashule yafunguliwe hata kazi ya rangi ambayo ulipeana pesa kwa county commissioner na kazi ambayo imefanywa pale hata we ukienda kuangalia you will be very sad Uta, utakuwa disappointed na hao watu ambao walijifanya wanaenda wameenda kufanya kazi mimi najua ya kwamba zaidi ya milioni mia moja ile tolewa kama vile uh, zilitolewa kwa sehemu zingine lakini hakuna hata ile ambayo ilitumika haiwezi kufika hata milioni kumi. kwa hivyo asara tubu na corruption tubu na uh, mabaya yaliendelea pale na kazi imesimama watoto hawajafungua shule hakuna mwalimu yeyote pale hakuna lolote pale na ya mwisho ningependa uh, kuuliza bwana Kindiki ukiavoid viongozi ukiavoid kuongea na viongozi hakuna jinsi utapata suluhisho ya shida zilizoko katika sehemu sehemu tafuta wakati ukutane nao uongee nao hata Mungu anasema eh, ni, ni, ni ajabu ni mzuri watu wakikutana na kuongea sasa mbona unakataa kukutana na sisi una avoid alafu badala ya sasa eh, kutuachia hata tu, tu, tuongee basi na waturgana na wa majirani yetu eh, sasa unatusumbua kukusanyika katika statements 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 itasaidia nini haiwezi kulete amani haiwezi kutanisha mpoko na tukana haiwezi kutanisha marakwet na, na pokot au samburu na pokot hii ni kusumbua hii ni kupoteza wakati hii ni kupoteza pesa asante